Field headed by number one, Viceroy, who wears a visor, written by Stephen Wynne, claiming seven. Two, Gypsy Fiddler, Bruce Raymond. Three, Stack Rock, Kieran Fallon. Four is Bit of a Lark, Tony Cruz. Five is Bo Venture, Neil Kennedy, claiming five. Six is Cumbrian Walser, Mark Birch. Seven, the favourite, Double Blue, Frankie Dettori. Eight, Blinkered, Never in the Red, Gary Carter. Nine, last year's winner, Cantoris, Daryl Holland, who is here now. Ten is Walk in the Park, Willie Rahn. Eleven, Blinkered, Seamia, Johnny Lowe. Twelve, Lucideo, Tony Garth, claiming seven. Thirteen is Absolution, the winner in 89 and 90. Ridden this year by Michael Hills, putting up one pound overweight. Fourteen is Gondo, who has a visor, Darren Moffat, claiming seven. Fifteen is 575, oh, 575, oh. Mark Humphreys, claim seven, putting up five pound overweight. 16, Petrarco, blinkered, ridden by Danny Wright, who claims all of his seven pound alarms. 17 is Tigani, blinkered, ridden by Steve Wood, and 18, Samsonin, Alan Mackay, putting up two pound overweight at seven stone nine. News of betting on our way to join Jimmy. And uh, number seven, Double Blue, is attracting the money. That uh, had an opening price of five to one and has come into nine to two. And also dropping in price, Cantoris from 8 to 7 to 1. Cumbrian Walter, 8 to 1. A Bow Venture and a Seamare with a Petraco, they're all on 10 to 1. 12 to 1, Absolution. And Never in the Red, also 12. 14 to 1, bar 8. <laughs> And they're running, and Double Blue very fast away in the centre. Cantoris is also fast away, and Stack Rock also running very, very fast, and Tigani running down the stands rails. That could be almost in front with Double Blue. Cantoris towards the centre. Lucideo just dropping in behind them. And it's Stack Rock and Tigani disputing us. Bit of a lark's right up there with the leaders. Cantoris just dropped in behind them now. But Tigani on the rails is beating it with Stack Rock as they splash through the rain there. Bit of a lock on the outside of those ones. Then uh, Never in the Red is getting into the picture and Viceroy also running very fast down the centre of the track. And it's Viceroy now who comes to join the leaders. Viceroy, bit of a lock. Tigani is dropping away. Stack Rock's dropping away. And Gypsy Fiddler coming very fast and right away to the centre of the course is Gondo as they come down towards the line. Bit of a lark in the lead. Bit of a lark from Cantoris coming fast again. Bit of a lark wins it from Cantoris and Bow Venture, then Cumbrian Venture and Gypsy Fiddler. Gondo behind that and Cantoris is rider. Cantoris has fallen after the runners have passed the post. Cantoris just beaten in a photo finish. Darrell Holland finds himself on the ground but seems none the worse, just a little bit winded. The result the judge has given the result, a win for number four, bit of a lark, owned by Mr. Ron Mason, trained by Rich Hollinshead, and ridden by Tony Cruz, his first winner in Britain this year. Second on nine, Cantoris, last year's winner, owned by Mr. Jerry Crane, trained by Robert Williams, and ridden by Darrell Holland. And third, number five, Bo Venture, owned by Mr. A.L. Stacey, trained by Fanny Lee, and ridden by Neil Kennedy. Closing for fourth place, Darrell Holland being attended there by those who ran out onto the track but a nasty fall is Philly actually fell and this so often happens at Haydock when the horse is past the post there's a little swing away to the left and there tends to be a little bunching there and uh, Darrell Holland being attended there by Dr. O'Donnell, the new jockey club doctor, who replaced uh, Michael Allen. And there is a steward's inquiry at the end of this dramatic coral handicap, which uh, resulted in a first pass the post by Bit of a Lark. Here he is with Tony Cruz. Oh, bit of a Lark, 16 to 1. Second number 9, Cantoris, 15 to 2. Third number 5, Bow Venture, 10 to 1. Fourth, number six, Cumbrian Waltzer, whose price I believe is nine to one, and the Sir Stewart's Inquiry.